know, I think a lot of times people don't realize like, like they, um, when you tell someone, well, I did an episode of Stargate, you know, and then they, and then some people say, I mean, are, are you on Stargate? Are you a regular on Stargate? I'm like, no, but I did an episode of Stargate or an episode of Star Trek, or whatever, whatever it is. And sometimes people I've discovered, sadly discovered, they don't particularly, they, they don't take it as seriously because you're not on the show week to week to week to week. Yeah. And I've kind of had to get used to that and like, well, um, uh, I'm really proud of what I did. And it's a, it's a, it's a terrific episode, I humbly say. Um, and you Good know, if you, you want to watch it, great. If not, that's fine. You know, no, I'm not forcing anyone to watch anything I do. You yeah. know, it, it, like I, I'll let them know that it's coming on, you know, but um, to be on set, um, as you said, um, with these heavyweights, you know, um, man, I loved it. You know, and I, I was I was watching them and, 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 and just, you know, just absorbing what they were doing, you know, and, and learning um, from them as well. They were incredibly nice to me. You know, when you're a guest on somebody's show, I'm not naming names or sh anything like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, I've, I've had some pretty bad experiences where I wasn't treated so nicely and uh, by the regular cast uh, and even the director um, of, the, of that episode. Oh, you know, come on, man. You know, yeah. You know, yeah, and um, I, I, uh, uh, you know, um, to to have that sort of experience is is is, is not fun. You know, it becomes a, a job at that point, and then you just want to be done with it and then get, you know, go home. You know, but when I got to Vancouver, um, everybody, starting with Peter and, and Chris, they were so um, open arms. Uh, Peter gave me his phone number right away, um, and and then Chris, I remember. Chris was like, hey, nice to meet you. Like, he was very, very, very nice and gracious. But I remember, um, I think he was waiting to see if, if I was the guy for the role. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, the Jafar the are his and Tony's okay. for all intents and purposes. You know, Absolutely. you're you're okay. coming into their playpen. Into Bring their, it. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, uh, the very first scene I did, I don't know if you know, if you, I don't know if you knew this. The first scene I did was inside the tent. Okay. It was, it was everybody. It was it was it was you know it was it was O'Neill Jackson. Ah, uh, you're at the um, head of the table and they're kind of around. Okay. Um, it it was um we had just we had just um finished um the the the, the fight against the uh, near T's Jaffa. Okay. And then we got, we got the Zach Nick Zach Nickatols. You got it. Um, the the bounty. Nicotol. Yeah, the spoils of war. <laughs> that was the word I had to keep practicing in my hotel room. Zach Nickatol. Zach Nickatol. <laughs> <laughs> You say tomato, I say tomato, Zach Nickel. And, uh, <laughs> try it's, saying that 20 times. But it's around. stuck with you. That's the important thing. That word will come in handy one day. Exactly. I want for Christmas, I want Zach Nickel. That's what I want. Um, I may be able to make I, that happen uh, for you. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, I got a birthday coming up. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so we got we got all we got all the Zach Nickatols and then we were in the tent mm. and and then O'Neill you know says so what are you what, what, what are you planning to do with him and then and then Katano says um, we will give you a share of the spoils you know for the rest we require them all <laughs> you know? yeah and and then I remember I remember I remember seeing Chris just out of the corner corner of my uh, my my right eye like he was looking at me and then he's just very 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 subtly started doing this. You know, I like without, what I see. I'm liking what I see yeah. without giving it all away. Like it, right. it totally could have been Tilk doing that, you know, like okay. it made sense. So you know? haven't done any yeah. speeches yet? I hadn't done anything. Okay. Absolutely nothing. I was, that was literally my first time, my first dialogue, first words on set was that scene, you know? So it was a, it was a, it was a good scene to start with. Cause you know, I had to dive in right away, you know, and, and prove character right away. Exactly. Know? Yeah, and um, um, we finished. We did two, three takes, four takes, you know, coverage, and then um, Katano leaves and says, um, "Come with my favorite line. Come with me to the chopper eye." <laughs> <laughs> I've said that at different comic con conventions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chopper eye. You just don't say that. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's just wonderful. I love it. It's perfect. Any actor, any real actor wants to say those, those words. It's amazing. You know, so um, I said, oh, I'm going to just enjoy this. You know, come with me to the top of eye. But, but as Katano, like you said, with the, with the flexing of the, the robe and everything, and just come with me, boom, you know. And then we finish, and then Chris comes up to me, 
and he goes like this, you know, nice, nice job. You know? <laughs> and then at, at some point, I think it was just at some, it was some point later in my day one, he says, um, um, I'm going to give you, when we're done shooting, I'm going to give you my cell phone number. <laughs> then, you are um, family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're family. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just like trying to get out, they bring me back in. And um, he, um, he said, he said, nice, nice job. And I said, thank you, man. You know, and because we had never met before, you know, right. and, and um, I knew who someone, he was. Yeah, you're just, someone you've watched. I've watched him on Stargate, man, you know. And probably a couple of other things, but I remember him clearly. I said, "Oh, that's that's Tilk, man, from Stargate, you know, yeah. Christopher Judge." And he said, um, "He says we're going to go out. We're going to work hard. We're going to put in hard days' work, you know. We're, and, and and you know, we're going to put it in the can, and then we're going to go out." <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know, and and he took me out. This is I say this, you know, and I, I you know, I hope people are listening. You know, I I have never to this day had someone from another show come up to me and say, here's my number, you know, and I'm guesting on their show. Yeah. Here's my phone number. You're in my city. We're going to go out and we're going to have fun and we're going to enjoy this for the eight days we have together. We're going to, we're going to you know, go out, you know, and, and not every night we went out, but we went out three, four times and, and he made himself available to me and really kind of took me out around Vancouver. You know, I've never had anyone, offer that before you know it's like hey and, and i'm not looking for it let me just first say that but it, it made a difference because i he made me feel welcome you know and and i had a lot to carry man i mean that's a heady role you know and he wanted to make sure that not only did i do my job on set um but that but that i was enjoying my time in, in vancouver the cast and the crew of that show are exceptional and I have them come on here now, two decades later, and oh, yeah. they carry the same, um, how do I want to put it? That it's like, okay, we're talking about Stargate now, you know, we're going to have yeah. the same fun. We're going to ha take it this with the same amount of seriousness and levity, right. you know, right. um, Brad Wright always said life's too short, Brad, yeah. you know? So if you're going to come on the set, we're going to have a good time. We're going to make a great product that we're all proud of. And then we're going to go home. You know, we're going to barbecue and everything else like that. Right, and it's, right. it has not gone away. They've all carried that mantra uh, with them, at least as far as when, when I bring up Stargate. Again, this is this is one of the Stargate playpens, what I'm trying to do here. And it's still there. It's still present. And one of the things that Chris said uh, when the three of us were together a couple of years ago is that he had a chance um, to hear you, I forget the circumstance uh, in one of your speeches before uh, Rick did, before Rick was on set, and Rick got oh, on set, uh, and then he heard. You mean you mean, you mean Richard, Richard, Richard Richard Dean Anderson? Okay, gotcha. And Richard Dean Anderson got on set, and then heard you speak to the crowd, and Rick turned to Christopher Judge, and Chris went, "I told you." <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I did not know that. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Absolutely right. Because, you know, like when you're trying to, when you're, you know, the guest actor comes in, hits his mark, says the lines, go home, goes home, you know, uh, you know, he or she, he, she or he goes home, you know. Yeah, a lot of times it's all it is. That's all it is, yeah. You know, and you come in, you come out, you know, it, the show is really about the regular um, cast. But um, like for years and years, you know, I've always wondered like, who's seeing my audition, who's making the decision mm -hmm. and, and, you know, do you know what I mean? Like you always wonder about that. Mm -hmm. So much that's out yeah. of your hands. Yeah, yeah it's out of my hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.